This patient has gout with an inflamed olecranon bursa containing tophi and free fluid. Injection of the bursa should never be done in a perpendicular fashion. This can lead to recurrent drainage each time the patient flexes the elbow and can also act as an entry point for infection. Instead, the needle should be directed parallel to the ulna and tunneled under the skin before entering the bursa. Using a retractable pen, mark the skin about one centimeter distal to the bursa. These injections should always be done using sterile precautions. A no-touch technique is used, meaning that once the area is cleaned, it must not be touched with anything but sterile needles. Scrub the site and then clean in an outward fashion. Here I am using betadine solution and following this by isopropyl alcohol. Using a 25 gauge needle, apply local anesthetic subcutaneously and towards the bursa. You can use 1 to 2 mL of 2% xylocaine. Give this a couple minutes to take effect. I am using a 30 ml syringe with a 21 gauge 1.5 inch needle. Advance the needle into the bursa while aspirating. The fluid is coming out quite freely. Occasionally, if the effusion is loculated, you may need to make several passes with the needle. It is a good idea to apply and release the pressure. You can also stabilize the bursa and apply some pressure to help the fluid to escape. I am not expecting the swelling to completely disappear as the bursa is full of tophi. Using a forceps, stabilize the needle and switch syringes. I have obtained about 24 cc's of fluid. Here I am injecting a mixture of 40 mg of Depomedrol and 2% xylocaine made up to a volume of 2 mL. It should go in freely. Remove the needle, immediately apply the safety mechanism, dry the area and apply a bandage.
Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was useful to you. Please remember to subscribe. There are lots of other videos including other injection techniques and physical exams. Thanks and bye for now.